Dyer's middle tower is uh, under attack. After taking out a chunk of damage from the tower there. Majority of damage. Yeah, he stayed under that tower way too long. I don't Dyer's think that he can dive at level attack. four, and that was a really silly attempt on his part. We got Storm Spirit sitting on top of an invisibility rune right now, taking a small vacation and hoping that something will come of it. It looks like he's popping all of his uh, bottles before he picks it up. And he's going to pop up. And up top, top we're going to see quite a bit of action going on. Uh, Clockwork in a lot of trouble as he takes a serious pounding from Gyrocopter. He will drop. Rubik taking some pain from Storm Spirit, who is just going to right click him. Uh, gets stuck by Lashrak. They're playing Ring Around the Rosie here. Uh, it's just a matter of time, really, before he's caught. And there it happens. Uh, we'll see Shadow Demon come in, the Imprison, and uh, they will seriously just pour on the damage, and that's a triple kill. Triple kill with only Clockwork dropping at the top. Fantastic play there by uh, Bird's Nest. They, they have really good team fusion, and you can tell the Storm Spirit is just everywhere across the map. Notice that he's got two, count them, two Town Portal Scrolls that he's got in hand right now. And uh, you, you don't see that a lot. In fact, if you look through with the teams, you're going to notice uh, a bit of a difference in terms of who's holding Town Portal Scrolls and who's not. I noticed that so. Uh, at least half of the Radiant sign is carrying town portals. I don't see anybody on the Dyer right now doing the same thing, except Leshrac. Always going to be an exception to the rule. So Dark's here now in bot lane with uh, Kanka hanging out. Not a whole lot of health on Kanka right now, so he's waiting for his creep wave to give him a little bit of support. Shadow Demon has taken up the Go ahead and bit. take a look at the grass real fast, Graham. It's uh, just about 10 minutes. And uh, Gold Graph opening up first. Looks as if we've got a resounding lead by the Radiance, uh, up by about 1,500, and that's slowly inching upward. Just going to stop you really quickly. Clockwork is uh, pulling the call down here after getting stuck out. Uh, we will see Gyrocopter go down as Storm Spirit comes in to save the day. Clockwork making a, a quick escape as Lashrak starts taking start damage from the tower, and he is put down by Storm Spirit, who seems to be the superhero on uh, the bird's nest. The big bad bird. Living up that to was his a name. fantastic pull by Storm Spirit. Uh, he used his electric vortex to suck Leshrac back into the tower. And uh, again, I, I think that you're going to see the Dyer just kind of fail when it comes to some of these kills. They don't have a really tanky character. Uh, Clockwork, however, is, is kind of a beast mode tank. He's already got upwards of 1,000 hit points. He was able to take a lot of that damage, sat inside of a gyrocopter ult while being hammered by uh, everyone else who was up top. And... Uh, not worse for wear. So here's the question. You are on the dire side right now, and you don't have that tanky character. How are you Hold going on. to adjust oh, your place? Darkseer, Darkseer just dropped really fast there, Graham. He <laughs> got pow plowed up in the air by an impale. Kunkka was just there, like, in perfect position to use his torrent as well, and uh, Darkseer just had, had, had nothing left inside of him. He was just gushed everywhere across the floor. What was your question? The truly heartbreaking thing about that kill is that I was looking at bot lane. Um, and we will see uh, Gyrocopter targeting uh, Clockwork here. The call down is out, but just misses completely. And, yeah. Uh, Shadow Demon trying to save his friend, but not able to do so, and they both end up dropping. Stuck inside cogs, and that was just uh, the end of that. So what was your question earlier, Graham? Uh, you don't have a tanky character on the Dire side. How are you adjusting your playstyle? Uh, Really, at this point, it looks like you're looking for an overextension by the Radiant, which they so graciously provided. Uh, the glyph is out as the uh, we've got four attacking the tower top lane here. Yeah, it's going to be careful play, and uh, I think that they also need to uh, play to their advantages, which are going to be uh, AOE fights. That's actually how they won that fight just now, even though Gyrocopter completely missed that attack. Uh, it, it, it is a strength of theirs to have AOE fights. Um, and Storm Spirit, have... uh, just really quickly, going after Rubik here, was caught out alone with that invisibility rune. Uh, we'll see him popped up by Rubik. Uh, Silencer will pop in the ult from Storm Spirit, and he will uh, make the damage and make the getaway. 
Yeah, it was some excellent play by Storm Spirit. Walked in with that invisibility, caught Rubick unawares. Now he's coming back, turning around to the silencer. Just doing a ton of right click damage. Shadow Demon is there, and they will get the kill. Yeah, he's using his ball lightning attack, his uh, ultimate, to just barely get enough uh, for his overload ability, and then just popping them in the face with a right click attack. So awesome, awesome. Play all of the Radiant right now in pursuit of Lashrak, who is hiding in the trees. Um, he will attempt to teleport out, but there's the impel to uh, stop the TP. Nyx Assassin coming in with some right-click damage, and they will put him down, making that uh, three in a row for the Radiant. Teleports in all, all across the board from uh, the Dire, but uh, it is too little, too late. What you're seeing right now is just superior team play. Uh, they have really good fusion with the, the heroes that they're playing. Lots of really good communication going on, and it, it seems like the Dire right now is just kind of, uh, well, they're being reckless. <laughs> so we will see uh, Clockwork take that homing missile to the back of the head right underneath his own tower as he fled. Uh, no follow-up from Team Reckless. Go ahead and take a look at the experience graph real fast. A significant lead, almost up to 7,500 7, experience lead by the Radiant team. Rubik popping Nyx's house over the air silencer with a little bit of damage, and we will see uh, him drop very, very quickly to the combined powers of the Dire team. Uh, Clockwork getting out of their source spirit, jumping straight in, going after Rubik, putting him down. And with that ult, putting Gyrocopter down as well. He is right clicking down. Darkseer, there's the ult, and he will go. Silencer slowed, the ult, Clockwork hooks in, and they'll put him down as well. That's Storm Spirit, man, he's just, he's nasty. The I mean, Impale is there, <laughs> and we will see Nyx Assassin put Lashrak down. That is a team wipe for Reckless. It is 19 to 8 at 14 minutes in. Uh, yeah. This is going to be a tough match for them to come back from. Yeah, if even, if they can even come back at this point. Kunkka's already pushed up, he's hitting that tier, tier 2 tower. I mean, that was a four-person fight and they took out five people. Storm Spirit was flying around everywhere with his ball lightning ability and just popping kills out like, like nobody's business. Radiant's middle tower is that, under um... Dyer's top tower is under attack. That ult obviously giving him a lot of mobility and uh, using it to its maximum potential. Up in uh, mid lane here, we're going to see Silencer and Rubik. Rubik heading for bot lane, uh, doing his, what he can to defend Dyer's that uh, tower that tower. The T1 will fall top lane. And Gold lead has gone up to uh, over 7,500 for the Radiant side. And uh, that experience lead I was just talking about at 7,500 made a significant jump over 10,000 experience, nearing 12,000 from what I can tell. So we will see uh, Storm Spirit again ult in on Silencer underneath his tower and just taking the damage from the tower like it's nobody's business will put him down. Uh, we can see that Orc had malevolence on, uh, on Storm Spirit. Yeah, that one of our very, big items. very early purchase. Yeah, very early purchase for Orchid Malevolence, but I mean, he's got the ability to do that right now. Storm Spirit has 12 kills of the 20, so he's getting fairly farmed up, and uh, and that's showing. There's a hook out on the track from Clockwork, who will be right clicked down by Storm Spirit. Dark Seer, Ion Shell, trying to get away, does so. Uh, we'll see the three remaining members of the Dire team. Just hanging out in that little area behind the tower where they've got a little bit of cover, but uh, it seems like Storm Spirit doesn't care. He's going to walk up top and possibly push that lane while the rest of his team keeps the uh, the Dire distracted and occupied. Kunky using his cleave to the best of his ability to uh, to really just chip away at those creeps. Uh, the homing missile's out. He will get stunned here, but doesn't look like there's going to be a whole lot in the way of follow-up. Uh, Shadow Demon putting poison down on uh, Rubik. Cooldown's out. Nobody caught in it in either blast. And Storm Spirit yeah, will continue to push top kind lane. Kind of a waste of his ultimate there. Probably should have waited until at least uh, Darkseer vacuum went out. Didn't make a lot Here of sense. Here comes the boat. There. And it will catch Darkseer, but the rest of the team will head back. Uh, Kanka with that Shadow Blade comes in, gets a single shot off on Silencer, is sucked back in by Darkseer. The homie missile's out on him, but we'll see Storm Spirit just come straight in, put a lot of damage down on Silencer and on the Shrek. If he can get the right click off on the Shrek, he will go down, and he will. You'll always be my uh, Rubik also dropped there to Clockwork. Clockwork hooked in on Rubik and uh, then proceeded to uh, right click plus battery barrage him down to death. 
a lot of great play here from the bird's nest, uh, putting the poison out on those creeps just to, to get that extra push. They're going to put that uh, T2 down fairly quickly if they can get a creep wave here to back them up. Yeah, I mean, they don't even need the creep wave at this point. Uh, they can pretty much tank this just with their heroes alone. And this is just an absolute shellacking by uh, Bird's Nest. Reckless just absolutely getting destroyed in almost every quadrant of the map. But making a solid effort and having fun. That's what I got for you. Storm Spirit, uh, with that right-click damage, it's just been huge. Shadow Demon, uh, there's the call down, and it will catch... Uh, Storm Spirit there. Storm Spirit still not dropping, however, using his ultimate to get out of it. Nick's getting caught. But uh, quick use of a mechanism brings pretty much everybody back up to fighting form, not necessarily uh, the best of condition, but... Bird's Nest right now, uh, low on mana on most of their heroes and low on health on most as well. They are going to, uh, to TP out and, uh, and walk away. Warded inside the base uh, for the Dire there. And it looks like we'll see uh, Clockwork and Shadow Demon head top lane. Storm Spirit's bottled an Illusion Rune, and he's got uh, you know that, uh, that Soul Booster right there giving a ton of regen. Well, the Soul Booster doesn't really give any regen. It, it gives only about 100% mana regen, which isn't a significant amount. What he's probably going to do, though, is he'll probably convert that into the uh, Bloodstone, which will give him a ton of regen. The Bottled Illusion uh, will help out as the entirety of the Dire team uh, heads top lane. Nyx moving stealthily and silently, looking for that extra damage off that initial attack. We'll, uh, we'll see where he decides to uh, to pop it. But there's Clockwork in on Lashrak. We'll see that initial attack from Nyx Assassin, which just puts him down. Nyx, uh, Sir Clockwork, stuck in the call down, and we'll see him put down while inside his cogs from right click damage. Uh, Dark Seer taking some damage from those cogs. And we'll be right clicked down by. Uh, Gyrocopter, pardon me, will be right clicked down by Storm Spirit. Silencer caught out of position and just destroyed by the Radiant team. Rubik trying to make a, a quick limp away into uh, the creep wave of the bird's nest. We'll see Nyx come after him and. The GG was called. The game is over. And that's that. So at 20 minutes 24 seconds, that's, uh, that's probably our shortest game to date. It was, yeah, it was an absolutely, I mean, that was, uh, they got crushed. Um, now, one thing that, uh, well, they did, I mean, they got absolutely crushed. I will tell you uh, one thing that was interesting, um, and I don't know if you noticed this, but again, going back to the superior team play of Bird's Nest, uh, Nyx Assassin got into position to, to kill Leshrac, and you are talking about that, you were saying he got in position with his invisibility. Clockwork was ready. Clockwork had his target aimed at Nyx Assassin to jump in on him, not on Leshrac. And so as soon as he used that uh, his ultimate to pound on Leshrac, Clockwork popped in to try and help out with that kill. It was absolutely awesome. You could tell that they were talking and working together on that kill. Absolutely. Uh, Kunk is sneaking into the base with his, uh, with his Shadow Blade and uh, using his, his boat there just to get the last few kills. Fascinating and game. Game is over with Bird's Nest the victor and uh, reckless just kind of living up to their name there not uh, not not really playing good team play um, and I'm wondering how much of that was due to maybe maybe poor picks not having a tank or a, a strength to back them up in fights and no real initiation yeah when you take a look uh, obviously at the at the gold graph there towards the end and the XP graph obviously spikes there towards the last few minutes but um, really, oh, I mean you, you don't even no contest you don't even need to look at that. Look at the items alone. I mean, one player only, and that's because he just has amazing farm. Only one player there had um, a significant amount of a gold lead, and that was Darkseer. And it wasn't even a, that significant of a lead. He had nearly mechanism, hadn't even finished it yet. So a very solid effort from both teams, but only one can be the victor, and that will go to the Bird's Nest. Your uh, MVP for the match. Any thoughts? Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, without a doubt, that was the Storm Spirit. He just had uh, some some absolutely fantastic 
uh, play. I mean, he was very clearly communicating with his team. When it came down to actually getting fights and uh, getting involved in even one-on-ones and two-on-ones, he was popping around his ultimate just just inches. He was just going tiny little inches just so he could use his uh, his ability that gives him that massive damage with his right click and uh, just doing tons of damage with it. I mean, he there was you know that team fight up top where they downed all five of them.